Hey guys, welcome to this Linux course. So in this particular uh, session, we'll be learning about conditional statements and various uh, other conditional statements like if, nested if and stuff. So first, let us see what exactly is a conditional statement. So these statements used to change the flow of execution. These statements are used to change the flow of execution when a provided condition is true or false. So let's say you are performing something and when that particular operation is true, then you have to do a set of commands. If not, if it is false, then you will have to execute another set of uh, commands. So uh, which will decide whether it is true or false. So to decide that comes in conditional statements. So here, for example, you have you are sick. Uh, so basically you are sick. So right now, if it is true, go to the doctor. If it is false, go and play football. So if you are sick, then go visit a doctor, get it corrected. So that's what you'll have to do. If you are sick statement is false for you, then uh, it's your wish you can do anything else. You don't need to go to the doctor because you're not sick. So this is the most basic example I could give about if statement. It is basically uh, conditions, uh, giving a condition and checking whether it is true or false. If that condition is true, do this thing. If it is false, do another thing that you will have to mention. Now moving ahead. So again, another example, if file one is available, this is more of a Linux based uh, example. Let's consider there is a file uh, named file one. So if file one is available, then print hello inside the file. So basically uh, write hello inside the file. If not, if there is, uh, if that file is not available, then type in file is not available. So this is another example. So guys, now we've seen that. Now let us explore some conditional statements like if, if, else, else, if, and nested if. First, let us learn them theoretically and then let us do a uh, quick hands-on on all of these uh, statements. So first, if condition. So this is the syntax if condition, then statements fi. Fi is basically the reverse of if, uh, it's to end the statement. So if, if a condition provided is true, it will do a certain set of actions. And if, if, if it is false, then it will not do anything. It will come out of the if condition because there is only one if. And you can see here, if condition, if this condition is true, it will go inside this particular statement and it will execute all the statements under then. If this condition is false, it will directly come out of this statement. So this the statements will be executed if the specified condition is true. If it is false, it will not. So for an example, you can see here if statement. So A is equal to one, B is equal to one. If dollar A equals equals dollar B, then echo values of A and B are equal, FI. So here, what I'm trying to do is, I'm, pro I'm providing a value for A and B and checking whether A and B are equal. So what do you think will happen in this particular statement? Will it fail or will it succeed? So will it be true or will it be false? If it is true, it should print this particular statement values of A and B are equal. If it is false, it should not print anything. It should be blank. So you can see I have executed that particular script file and you can see values of A and B are equal is printed because one is equal to one. So that is true. That is why it is printed over here. Next, if else condition. So here, uh, there is another uh, keyword called else in the last. So in the if statement, you can see in the syntax, there is only a one if the, then the next statement is called then, then under then you give all the commands to execute and then you finish it off with fi. But in if else, you can see there is an if and the, you'll have to provide the conditions and then there is a then a keyword and then inside that there are some statements and there is a else keyword and there are some statements. So why do we need if else? So let's say in the last condition in this place, if A and B are not equal, you wanted to print values of A and B are not equal. But how can you do that? You can either provide it outside of it. Anyway, if it fails, it will uh, print that. But if it should be only within the if uh, if statement, then you can use if else. So this is how you can do that. A is equal to one, B is equal to two. Now, if I equate them, if A is equal to B, then obviously it won't be equal because two is larger than one. So now A is equal to B. A is not equal to B. So what do you think will be printed? Obviously you would know the answer, but still the second option that is A is not equal to B will be printed. So I've executed it and you can see the outcome. And the next statement is else if. So I'll tell you the difference between if else and else if. First, uh, the main difference is you can see in the syntax, there is an another, there is another keyword called elif, E-L-I-F together. Elif basically means else if. And then there is 
here you can see there is only if and else here it's if elif and else so why do you need elif so let's say there are not there is not just one condition there are multiple conditions so first you want to check whether a is equal to b then you want to check whether b is equal to c and or you want to check uh, c is equal to a so you if you want to check all of these conditions then uh, you cannot do it in a single go with if you if you want to execute multiple statements then you can use an if condition and in if you can type in a is equal to b if that condition is true the statements will execute then under e if you can basically use b is equal to c if this condition is true then the statements under it will execute if both of these conditions fail then the else statements will execute so now you can enter if condition 1 e if condition 2 then e if condition 3 you can enter any number of e ifs as well so uh, a more better explanation is over here if condition 1 is true statements inside it's then will execute so that's what i'm saying if condition 1 is true the statements inside this then will execute these statements will execute if condition 1 is false then condition 2 is checked so this is checked if condition 2 is true then these statements are executed if false the statements inside else will be executed so if both the conditions fail obviously the else statement will be executed so this is where elif comes in so you can see i have provided an example as well so a is equal to 10 b is equal to 2 first a is equal to b then a is greater than b so now obviously a is greater than b and the second option will be printed a is greater than b elif is executed and if it is not actually greater than b if it was b is equal to 2 and a is equal to 10 then the else condition would be printed so this is where elif comes in and you can see the printed outcome so the statement under uh, elif got printed because that is the true condition so this is where elif comes in and finally nested if so you can use multiple ifs inside another if so you can see if condition one then so if this condition uh, is true then this will execute else it goes inside another then under else and inside that you have another if with condition two if this condition is true this statement will execute if this condition is false then the statements under this else will execute and then it will end so this is what nested if means you can basically nested if is adding an if inside another if you can basically if condition one is true then start doing if condition two if it is true if condition three so you can do multiple uh, substitutions like that and that is called a nested if so an example i've provided here echo name read name so if name is equal to equal to cody then uh, echo password read password and then echo hello uh, else uh, wrong password so it's ending so else wrong password again so what we want to happen here is so when asked for a name you should enter the same name so if that name is entered your condition will be uh, true so then it will echo password and it will ask for a password so then if you enter the right password then this hello will be printed if you entered wrong password here it will show wrong password so else if you have provided a wrong name here in the first time so if this particular condition fails it will go to this else statement because this is the else statement of this if statement so it will go here and then this wrong username will be printed so this is where nested if comes in you can check multiple conditions within another if statement and i have executed it you can see here first name cody password cody hello name john wrong username name cody password john wrong username so i've tried all the possibilities and everything worked well so this is where nested if comes in so we've seen uh all the four if else if if else and nested if so now we'll uh do these hands-ons but in this session we've covered all these topics in the next session we'll start off with that thank you